This is a displacement wedge from vibration research. It is used to quickly tell if your input sensitivities are entered correct. First step for using a displacement wedge is to go into the software and enter the sensitivities of your transducers in the input tab. Second step would be to attach the displacement wedge to the head of your shaker and um, some typical values that you would use uh, would be 0.1 inches displacement peak to peak and 30 hertz for an electrodynamic shaker. Uh, you may have to edit these values slightly if you are using a hydraulic system. Uh, once you hit start in the software, the shaker is going to start to come up to level and you'll begin to see the two lines blur. The value we're interested in here is at 0.1 inches peak to peak and that's where you should see the crossover once the shaker has come up to full level. This is a quick and easy way to verify that your input sensitivities have been entered correctly. Um, if you're seeing some multiple of 0.1 inches, it's a quick uh, way to say, hey, maybe my inputs are not entered correctly. If you're interested in one of these displacement wedges, please go to our website, vibrationresearch.com, or feel free to contact any of the sales guys via email. We'd be happy to send you a couple.